Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a 2000. And 21 model year, limited edition of 100 pieces. And it's not just 2021. This watch is associated with a very specific date. And that is the 18th of November, 2021, the 51st National Day for the Sultanate of Oman. So this is the IWC Pilot's Watch Chronograph, Sultanate of Oman, limited edition of 100. It is referenced 3879-10 in bronze and titanium. And on the reverse side, you can see the image of the Sultan himself, Haitham bin Tariq, as well as in Arabic script, Sultanate of Oman written out. So the watch, part of the 41 millimeter Pilot's Watch Chronograph series, that is its diameter, 15.4 millimeters thickened from lug tip to lug tip, 51.4 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. On my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see it sort of does push right out to the edge. This is a smaller IWC Pilot's watch, but not a small one by any means. I recommend it for wrists of 15 centimeters circumference or larger. You can see the cuff shot right there over the top one more time and then down the barrel. Taking a look at the strap, it's blue textile on the top, calfskin on the bottom. It's got a little bit of ball strength, give it some thickness and volume. The strap's textile is wrapped over the flank. You can see there's a gusset sewn in to prevent gouging. And then we have a media blasted IWC bronze pin buckle to match the watch. A feature I like about this pin buckle is that the bridge is elevated somewhat above the prongs on the side, so the strap fits flatter inside it when it's on your wrist. The case is primarily bronze, and you can see it's all media blasted. It's beginning to show some patina from age. No two of these will age exactly alike, so each one develops an individual character, and that is deliberate. That's one of the things you look for and a manufacturer plans for when designing a bronze watch. The reverse side, however, is in fine and coarse blasted titanium, and you can see the fine blasting surrounding the image of the Sultan and the script, and then the coarser blasting outside, so it's actually double blasted, but for a contrast. We have a 60 meter water resistance and a screw down crown, which in combination I declare to be fine for surface swimming. This is the product of my many years studying horology. 60 meters with a screw down crown, even 50 meters with a screw down crown is fine for the surface. Just remember, the bottom of the strap is leather, so you want to swap out the strap first. The dial has a blue metallic sunburst. It has an analog look to it, almost like the instrumentation of a 20th century aircraft flight deck. And so you've got that historic pilot's watch look with plenty of luminescence. You have sunken sub-registers each one of which has a little concentric pattern. And then you have stepped apertures that give way to day and date complications. You have a quick set for each in the intermediate position of the crown. You can see I can make that quick set. I can also pull the crown out, stop the watch, hacking seconds. The watch uses what IWC initially described as a manufacture movement. I'm going to describe it as a Valfleurier movement made for IWC. So this is the 69000 series chronograph, specifically the 69380. It's an automatic winder that was designed as a drop-in replacement for the old Valjoux 7750. So they're similar in size and similar in spec, though this does have some advantages. This is an automatic winder with a bi-directional magic lever style Paul-based winding system, a 46-hour power reserve, hacking seconds, the double quick set pivots on 33 joules. It's adjusted in the high horology standard of five positions, which I like, uncommon on a watch in this price range. It beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour, and it uses a column wheel for function selection. This is something the old 7750 did not have. Uh, some say it makes for a crisper actuation. It certainly makes for a little bit more complexity in tuning the movement, so extra work gets put in for the more traditional function cycler. Now, another feature it actually carries over from the 7750 is an oscillating pinion lateral clutch. So you can see if I press the pusher down and hold it, there's almost no visible jump to the seconds hand. That's one of the benefits of the oscillating pinion. And while it's a traditional and rather simple chronograph clutch mechanism, today it's taken on something of a sheen of haute horlogerie because some brands such as F.P. Journe have reintroduced the oscillating pinion as a refinement feature because it does create so little jump or stagger or extraneous movement when you engage it. It is almost as seamless as a vertical clutch while leaving much of the traditional beauty of a lateral clutch. If you love this 
Just watch. Reach out to tmosso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.